Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, and today we are going to continue with our playthrough of Chris on hard mode for the remake of Resident Evil. The Book of Curse simply states there are four masks, a mask that speaks no evil, one that smells no evil, one that sees no evil, and one that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. It says when all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Okay, the mask, the masks take the place of the crests in the first one. The masks are placed on the four corresponding pedestals, or whatever you want to call them, uh, right there. I just walked past. Um, I don't really know what evil smells like. Smell wasn't what it should have been. That should be replaced with here. Now you want to shoot this guy and knock him down. You do not want to kill him. Uh, it's rare that you would ever kill a guy with two bullets, but I want to make sure that he gets back up. Okay, he does. If he doesn't get back up and for some reason you got trigger happy there, you're going to have to come back here. Mark the time that you killed him and you're going to have to come back here within a very, very short period of time. Bodies in this game reanimate if they're not disposed of properly. We'll learn a little bit more about that later. But you have 15 minutes on hard mode from the time when he would die to the time when you need to come back and get him. Uh, dispose of him. So... You need to be quick. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'm so. Oh my god, my. <laughs> um, game was fast enough. There's an engraving of a sword, so it becomes the sword key. You use the sword key. I know, great. Um, now, there are some differences in hard mode from easy mode, but there are no differences, well, minor ones. I'm scared you, huh? Between Chris and Jill. Uh, Chris doesn't have. Chris doesn't get saved by anybody. He saves people instead. Um, he does not get the grenade launcher. And his second defensive item is a flash grenade. Whereas Jill's is the taser. I actually prefer the grenades myself. Uh, more so than I do the uh, taser. But whatever. The uh, grenades actually work better on multiple enemies. So Chris has a slightly higher decapitation rate with the handgun um yeah and that's about it now the differences on hard mode are mainly there are less ammo less health items enemies do more damage and there are more enemies so in the original as you can see we're going to remove the plunger here in the original game there were more enemies based off of chris's playthrough because he was considered hard mode even the uh director's cut really didn't you know uh, change that much why hello there getting all clean in that dirty water one dirty bitch aren't you uh, you can kill this guy if you really felt like you know taking out your frustrations on him but I don't really recommend it we will not be back in this hallway ever again at least not this far down um, so it's just best to run past him this old key here opens this door, which in the original was locked with the armor key. As you can see, it is not. It still leads to the same place. The other thing that I was a little disappointed, as you can hear, there are Cerberus around here. Uh, in the director's cut, was they really didn't add a lot of new areas. Now, if you take the herbs at the end of the hallway, the Cerberus will attack you. There should be two of them there. I do not recommend taking them on with a pistol in hard mode. Okay, so now we're going to double back. Yeah, zombies can open doors too. Um, they're pretty smart in this game. I do have to say, usually you can see that the uh, door is vibrating and they'll knock through it, but sometimes uh, you don't. So this chemical, if we examine it, turns into an agent to destroy plant growth. So it turns into herbicide. You know, herbicide is an interesting word because the, the word herb is an herb. But herbicide is herbicide. If you understand what I'm getting at there. Man, why do you zombies all die in one hit? Shoot you in the ass. Look at that. I know you like it like that. Okay, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. So now we need to go aggro the other two. Yeah, I use the term aggro. What's up, buddy? 
These two... Oh, I didn't get the other one to come to me, but... I prefer to shoot them from the bottom of the stairs here. There's a much greater chance that you'll get a headshot on him. Unfortunately, I'm not blessed today. Usually, you get at least one of the three here. Oh, I can't see you. Ah, this controller is pissing me off. Okay, that that was a not a good example of a headshot right there. Tell me you're not dead. You know, I should have got bitten by him. You dead again? Yeah, you dead now. Okay, so now what we gotta do is double back down the stairs and go in the door under here. This is a very important room in the game. I'm trying to think here. Yeah. Okay, first and foremost, the file on the ground is the disposal instructions. It says, we have new information regarding these beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incineration and destruction of their head. Okay, deposit the herbicide, deposit the herb, deposit the knife. Take with you handgun, handgun ammo. Canteen, which we just picked up here. And the old key, which you will get right here. Now, under normal circumstances and normal difficulty, I would actually do this in a slightly different order. But at this point in the game, it, it's very important for us to get the shotgun as soon as we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dispose of the two corpses. All three, actually. Because we need to double back to this area often. And you don't want to have these guys reanimate. Reanimated zombies are known as Crimson Heads. Crimson Heads do significant damage as to standing in fire like a fucking moron. Oh well, no biggie. Um, they do significant damage. They're so fast. They outrun you in a heartbeat. They have a slashing type attack. They're almost like a hunter. A zombie version of a hunter. If you can believe such a creature would ever exist in a Resident Evil game. But yes, it's true. No joke. So, we need to make sure that we prevent that from happening at all costs. If you had killed the other zombie in the graveyard, you're going to have to go there really fast. Because you only have 15 minutes to kill him and burn his useless rotting carcass. What do you mean it's not necessary? If for some reason the zombie isn't dead, he'll get back up when you try to burn him. That's no biggie, obviously. That's awesome. Let's not burn ourselves again. Yeah, let's get out of here. <clears throat> the zombie to the right here, as you walk in, is usually pretty easy to decapitate. Whoa. Bam. You heard his head squeeze. He was like... <laughs> pretty gruesome, huh? So let's go in here, this office of sorts. More like a study, I guess. No, an office. Dog whistle and a crumpled memo. I'm not going to read all the documents, but I'll read the important part. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. He's hiding something, obviously. Handgun ammo. And then just for completeness sake, there is a book on the desk which t uh, talks about the medicinal herbs. And how they do stuff. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? They do stuff. So let us uh, go take care of the... There's actually another zombie in this hallway. Sorry, my allergies are bothering me a lot. Here, bite me. Bite me, bitch. I said bite me. There we go. Did, did I blow his head off? I don't even know. I hope so. Yes, I deliberately got bitten. Because I wanted to crush his skull. 
that's the alternative if you don't have a canteen on you that would be how you would take care of these guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here and we're going to uh, get the ability to get the shotgun as soon as possible now this zombie in here goes all over the place he's a pain in the ass because he's never in the same spot twice he's on the left hand side when you first come in here basically the same place you left him any other time you come through here he's right between these two doors not on this side but the other side that we just came from yes I'm at caution I need to heal there are two zombies here one's gonna come marching up the stairs one is um, around the corner so I'm gonna stop this video here guys thank you for tuning in take care and have a great day